All right, my people. One Piece chapter 1060? What? Right? No, 1059 predictions. I woke up in a One Piece mood, one that's definitely excited to talk some One Piece. Been talking to a bunch of people about different things. Just honestly, randoms. It's people that I, I don't even know. People I'm meeting randomly, just like, because I, I'm wearing my One Piece hat in different places. They're like, yo, you watch One Piece? I'm like, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, cause I, I don't tell people I got a YouTube channel about One Piece. Wow. Talk in one piece, people have so many different ideas. It's just really refreshing to talk to people that aren't in it, right? They just enjoy the story, they're outside of it. Some people read the manga, some people watch the anime, but they're just as passionate, which is, it's insane just how One Piece is globally. And breaking news, wow, One Piece Film Red will be released in October. What I'm hearing is October 14th around there in the United States, theaters in the US. And it was revealed technically on the USC One Piece production i'm not sure if you guys saw that usc football some people watch college football it was sponsored by one piece so hey here it is we'll be in theaters october and specifics came from twitter different sources there you guys can go check it out i'll put the link below to my boy Bweezy, who had the actual showing and them mentioning one piece film red next month so we we're roughly a month away month and a half away from film red <laughs> I can't wait. Tell y'all a secret. Our tour, the Lobby of O'Hara, every time he posts that he went to watch Film Red, because he's seen it like a dozen times now. I'm salty. I'm salty. Arthur, I I'm salty. Stop posting it. Stop posting. Anyway, let's talk some One Piece predictions. I guess the best place to start is where we left off. Cross Guild. Bounties. Straw Hats. What's next? So again, let's go back to where we left off. And, and guys, if you're here for the first time, it'd be great if you subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. Helps me make, produce better content for you guys. It lets me know that you, you care about a brother a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, One Piece chapter 1059. We left, or 1058, rather. We left off at, again, Straw Hat Bounties, Cross Guild, Cross Guild Bounties, Revolutionary. So we're going to go back, right? We're going to go back, start at the Revolutionaries, then backtrack. That's what I'm looking for. Revolutionaries, the Sabo conversation. There are a bunch of ways this could go. First off, Sabo did it. Let's say Sabo did it, but it's a, an agreement with Cobra. Cobra saying, hey, this is something that you have to do, right? Because this is going to spur a revolution, which I think is probably far-fetched considering how the world government was trying to get rid of Cobra anyway. Hey, take me out, right? I know it's going to be tough, but take me out is going to instill a riot and a revolution. And that's what you guys are about, right? You guys are the revolutionaries. I'm, I'm hoping that's what you guys are trying to do. Moving on. The next scenario is Cobra was definitely just killed by the Celestial Dragons, or rather the Gorose. And Imu, they wiped him out. They got him out of there because he was asking too many questions. When Professor Clover started asking too many questions, like, kill him. You're asking too much. You know too much. And the most dangerous thing in One Piece story is, I guess for the world government, is information. And and luffy i guess you would think now they're putting more focus on people like robin and upping her bounty and luffy and him being the sun god etc etc but information very important because once you have information then who knows where you can go with it knowledge rules the world so for them they're trying to always put a cap on that either way they took out cobra and so they blamed sabo and they were hoping that people would turn on the revolutionaries for killing someone in cold blood which is weird considering how the world government is and how they're viewed either way they put out that information sabo did it and it completely backfired on them and now they're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. You guys know that I'm I'm about balance. I'm not trying to tell you guys. I, I bring forth balance. And so for the Admirals, I root for the Admirals so that the Yonko aren't just this overwhelming force that can just destroy anything whenever they want. So the Admirals, they have to contest. They have to compete to make things interesting in my mind. Either way, the world government as a whole has not been looking like a solid unit. Okay, the starting five isn't looking tough right now. The bench is looking crazy. They got to call up some people from the G League. All that is going on. Some people catch the reference. Either way, they need to make a trade. And I like the fact that they're introducing new people like Black Horse. And I'm expecting other factions. But what's the person? What are we waiting on? SSG, boys and girls. When when do we see them? That is the last dying hope at this point. And do you think we see SSG next chapter? It doesn't feel right. Unless, unless. Next chapter, I've been saying Blackbeard is going to show up for a long time. And I'm thinking that's the next necessary step but there's a chance oda could continue the bounty thing so revolutionary bounties sabos maybe morley's and some of those guys but then of course thinking of cross guild i can't help but think about everything else that's going on like i said mihawk probably told us about what's going on with boy hancock saying hey my place of residence was continuously being swarmed boy hancock she cannot leave her place of residence so with it continually being swarmed she would have to give up herself and get captured if we're getting mihawk's bounty when do we get boas when do we get weevils do we get a resolution with the rest 
rest of the warlords that's a possibility but then also blackbeard right because here's the thing how does oda tie it all together i would expect people to work with buggy considering his mother wanted money and if you're going after marines there are more people to hunt more money to gain that's who they work with but then there was a theory people brought about they were talking about queen and what not queena perona and perona she still values moria so does she go to seek out moria then she stumbles upon blackbeard then she gets captured do they take her take her powers take her ghost power either way it feels like that's what you got to focus on at this point yes as we move forward with cross guild i think they're going to be a mystery largely until it's time to focus on them so i, I don't think we go back to cross guild i really don't i think we're good with them unless weevil joins or i don't know for whatever reason hancock joins i think the focus definitely goes to blackbeard blackbeard focus we need some blackbeard and at some point oda has to tie in the other warlords but the fact that he hasn't referenced them at all in a long time i'm scared like i said i've made boa hancock videos for so long weevil i've made videos on weevil about what what he's gonna do you gotta wrap that up bounties the end of the chapter does imply we just get some revolutionary stuff like oda just wraps that up tell us what happens with sabo sabo just responds to dragon because oda's been doing that a good job of that lately because he's trying to get to the end of the story saying hey i'm leaving it off on a cliffhanger but i follow it up the next chapter like roof Beast did that a lot when luffy versus kato did that a lot odin stuff he went right back to it next chapter so i expected to probably start out revolutionaries right back to it because there's so much mystery there with sabo then we get some vivi stuff maybe he's with vivi right now more than likely but then we could transition to blackbeard we get some blackbeard stuff because again where we're going next full of lead albath and sphinx marco blackbeard shanks we're assuming those territories well sphinx and full of lead for sure we're assuming Shanks is over Elbath. So you have to tie in Blackbeard somehow. How do you do that? Is he at his destination? Has he gotten the thing that he wanted? Was it Sabo? Right? Was it Vivi? We have to wait and see. Now back to bounties. We got all the straw hat bounties. But something we did not get was all the posters and explanations for certain things. Frankie's bounty poster, I don't get that. They had Frankie's picture before. Why would you change it to the ship now? What changed? So I would like some explanation as to why they changed the bounty pictures, the actual bounty pictures for everyone, and then even bounties for the other supernova. What is Killer's new bounty? What's going on with the Rouge? What about Bonnie? How does she contribute to Kuma breaking out? Let's streamline it. Revolutionaries. We try to wrap up the revolutionary storyline by giving us some information in regards to what happened to Sabo. We move on you show us some blackbeard then you show us exactly what blackbeard is going after and where blackbeard is maybe you tease that then you move on maybe show us the other warlords the other warlord bounties would be amazing you got hancock's bounty and weevil's bounty that would be fantastic and you tell us what's going on with them because wh wh why are you leaving them out move on because it just went from bounties go back to the straw hat bounties because now we talk about the straw hat bounties we talk about everything that transpired with them and again explanations laws crew and their bounties if they got any beppo killer definitely should be over a billy and then updates on the other supernova because i think as we go through this update period the best thing to do is to let us know what's going on with everyone right let us know what's going on with rouge with bonnie with the other warlords with blackbeard with the other supernova i already said rouge and bonnie but updates but then i'm thinking about like who else do we care about what's going on with them the man scarred by fire I'm not sure if you're gonna touch on that do we go back to kid in them at some point but the man scarred by fire but those are the major things i think oda has left out that he has to touch on we did not get a lot of blackbeard in the four yonko saga the versus four yonko saga the revolutionary storyline and what exactly transpired is still open-ended and you're leaving out hancock and weevil we just got bounties for mihawk mihawk i don't expect anybody's bounty is going to be higher that we see in the future in regards to regular people i mean ben beckman no way is going to be higher than mihawk blackbeard may have gotten a bounty raise but why to narrow down what i expect in this chapter because <laughs> my mind is all over the place um revolutionary wrap-up other warlords other supernova straw hat bounty explanations and pictures right update 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 while we're on the way to the next island because once we get there, we already have all our updates. Then it'd be easier to start, not from scratch, but somewhat fresh because now the audience is caught up because we were in Wano for a long time. And Wano is, again, it's isolated and it felt that way. Sometimes it feels that way even when we're not in Wano. In Wano, it especially felt that way because people didn't even know about hockey and certain things and devil fruits. So this is how Oda's opening it up, broadening our scope because we felt confined for so long. Maybe that's one of the reasons why for Wano, some of the best moments has come from outside of Wano. 956, 957, some of those moments, it's like, bro, we want something from outside of Wano 
around because we've been here for so long. That's why Aramaki, it turns things up a bit. Cause it's like, oh crap, an admiral is here, an outside source, which we enjoy. But guys and gals, give me your thoughts. What do you expect to happen in chapter 1059? I, I don't know, I keep forgetting the number. Not sure if spoilers are even out yet. If they are, don't put them in the comment section. Please try to keep this as clean as possible. And guys, thank you so much. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys all so much. And guys, be sure to like and subscribe. And shout out to my members. Link in the description if you want to become a member. Exclusive content over there. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, I start doubting me, I felt lost. I